Okay, so here we are with parched rice instructions. Here's our unparched brown rice. Um, we found that brown rice is actually slightly more effective as a desiccant. And I'll put that into a dry, hot wok and let it sit just until it starts to pop a little bit. And once you hear it starts to pop, you want to spread it around a little bit, maybe toss it just to get the heat evenly spread. Um, if you want to read more about parching rice, you'll probably end up finding a lot of things about how to make risotto, because that's how it starts, or about Canadians parching wild rice in, in giant vats, with, stirring it with canoe paddles. Neither of them were particularly helpful for this application. So the, uh, the rice is popping merrily right now. Just like popcorn, once it starts to slow down, you know you're about done. It's ready to come off the heat and go into a bowl. So I'd say we're pretty well popped here. It's time to pour it off. And we're done. There's some parched rice desiccant.